Hello comic book fans, here's Earl Grey with my last list with my favorite comics from 2018, whether they came out as omnibuy, graphic novels, trades or collected editions in any kind or shape or form. Um, today I want to talk about science fiction comics, but before I come to my um, top 10 proper, I have to do some honorable mentions or some less honorable, uh, like for instance Starhawks Volume 3 that came out in IDW's um, Library of American Comics line. It's still a great looking comic because of Jill Kane, uh, you know, there's even a bit uh, Howard Shakin in it uh, who helped out. But the title uh, suffered a lot from their decision to make it a bit more grim and gritty, so they left out um, the more light-hearted stuff that made uh, the first two volumes very enjoyable, like the Talking Robots uh, dog stuff and, and such. So I was a bit disappointed. Not a disappointment at all was Prison Pit, the concluding book six done by Johnny Ryan in his over-the-top uh, underground the uh, art style. But... I couldn't compare it with any of the other books, so, so I just did a, put it in a separate category. Um, bit weak decision, I have to agree and admit, but what can I do? Department H, I still haven't read uh, Volume 4. Um, yeah, shame on me, but I would guess it's an amazing book. Um, as the others before. Uh, Paper Girls and Saga, there weren't any kind of hardcover uh, collected editions in the year 2018, so I still have to wait on them. Um, yeah, I'm very glad and thankful for, uh, for Dr these Druyer books here, um, published by Titan, Ira Gael, Urm the Mad and Gail, but I have some some beef with the uh, reproduction quality and uh, the lettering uh, in them. I have to admit that uh, these um, these problems, these issues, um, got to my attention after doing a raving video about them. So, yeah, but I want to do in the uh, further run of 2019 um, another Druyer book where I address these observations. Let's say. Now to my top 10 were the best science fiction comics from 2018 in collected format. Um, Gigantic, drawn by Eric Nguyen and uh, written by Rick, Rick, uh, Rick Remender, published by Dark Horse, was a five uh, issue miniseries with a very strong premise. Um, sort of Transformers meets The Truman Show. Um, aliens um, built our Earth just for the purpose of making a reality TV show about them. And that's a great idea and it works pretty well in the story here until it gets uh, into a sequence of cloppering and good guys versus bad guys and Remender doing his usual Remender whining, which isn't his strongest suit, I have to say. Um, yeah, but overall, I really liked uh, this book here. And especially Nguyen's art shines when he can draw that robot and uh, explosion, explosion stuff and, and all that, that kind of thing. That really looks great and tickles my little boyish uh, sensibilities that are somewhere deep in, inside this hard shell of a man and on the opposite uh, that I am uh, on the opposite um, he can't really draw humans sometimes uh, they look a bit strange so yeah a bit difficult mixed bag of uh, stuff here and somehow I'm glad that they left it just with five issues that were overall very enjoyable um, talking about enjoyable um, Aliens, Dead Orbit, done by James Toko. I mean, Aliens as a franchise has its limitations, of course, and this shows here immensely because uh, for the most part you have the feeling, oh, I've either watched that in a movie before or I've read another comic with that. Uh, and so 
yeah, the the pulling factor here is clearly the art of James Stokoe. Not as colorful as usual, which was a deliberate decision of him. Uh, somehow I say I would have liked it a bit more colorful, but yeah, I can respect that. Um, just look at the the art in the bonus section here. One instance, this original pencil art here. This is just uh, worth the, the the purchase alone here. Great stuff. And he mentions that he uh, did uh, a lot of this stuff here that is not a part of the the actual story. He uh, drew just for for the fun of it. And you can see what a fan of aliens he has to be. Um, or he he included it in a pitch, but he never used it in the, the proper comic. Uh, so he did it um, some years before uh, and in the beginning just on, because he's a fan of the Aliens franchise. And that, this shows it, shows in the whole comic uh, in a way and makes it really enjoyable. So... Totally more or less out of nowhere, uh, the series here with uh, Plus Boy, um, I don't know his uh, proper name here, Plus Man or It's plus man, and um, yeah, a bit strange thing that they don't mention the title of the actual hero in these comics on the front. Um, but that's maybe just the only complaint that I have with these books here, and it's not a really co real complaint, of course. Published by um, Koyama Press and drawn and written and everything by Ben Sears. Uh, this is maybe the only all ages book in my uh, collection here or my top 10 and um, this is a book that came out 19, uh, 2016 and this came out 2017 and this is a book uh, from 2018 so I'm positive that they will do that he will do a new one in this year um, it's yeah real fun future adventure uh, with this, um, yeah, plus man and his sidekick, uh, Robert's sidekick Hank, and done in this, um, yeah, art style which reminds me a bit of Sesame Street in in some places and and yeah, good cartoony fun and um, really accessible and yeah, nice and cute. Yeah. Dynamite com uh, comics of all publishers in the world show us how to do a really interesting spin of an old franchise. Magnus the Robot Fighter comes back here as Magnus the Robot Hunter, which is now a, a female woman, which is not a big deal uh, um, in the comic. But the more exciting factor here is um, the yeah the premise of it all. Um, in a not too far future, um, man had given their robots, uh, robot ale, um, artistic intelligence creatures, uh, some si a sort of um, artificial holiday park, uh, which is just a data cloud in which the robots can upload their uh, artificial intelligence and live a life on their own uh, just for some hours uh, to recreate. Uh, and then they have to work again for humankind, uh, which doesn't work too well. But there's Magnus um, who can upload her own uh, consciousness into that data cloud. And Believe me, this is really a very interesting uh, premise that doesn't, uh, that's not actually so far fetched as it sounds, maybe. Uh, 
there are some really decent considerations going on. So it's really interesting in terms of um, serious sci-fi, whatever that means. Um, but yeah, I, I loved it. And I really hope that they will continue it. It's, uh, they mention it to be continued in the end, and it's a great series. What can I say? So, talking about a great series, Planet of the Apes archives, um, yeah, Volume 3 and 4 came out by Boom Studios, and yeah, here I cheat a bit, or even more than it, just a bit, because I'm still in Volume 1, but I just have to include these collected editions, and they look great as far as I can tell, and I will read them um, one after the other, but it takes... Uh, it's time, of course, and these books are ama amazingly looking, so just included it. Um, now to my top five. Prison Ship, uh, published by IDW, written by Bruce Jones and uh, drawn by Esteban Morotto, uh, who did some kind of interesting foreword. Uh, especially the part where he says that they published this story here in a bit uh, sexed up version. I don't know how you can uh, sex up this stuff here, which is already pretty sexy in my book. But uh, they made her talking to a floating uh, penis uh, thing here, collaged that in. Yeah, I would be curious to see that, uh, to be honest, even though... It makes me a bit cringe thinking about it. Um, yeah, but this um, story uh, doesn't only look great, but is a really great old-fashioned uh, story. Uh, this lady here is a warden of some criminals. Uh, this yeah, prison ship um, has to take them to Earth, but they can escape and the, uh, she has to um, catch them again. And it's interesting how Bruce Jones uh, wrote a continuing story, even though this was originally published in short, short junk, uh, chunks of um, just eight pages each. And you really, if you count the pages, you can see where he puts uh, the cliffhanger, which was a bit of an, some kind of extra fun for me. Very good book, and I like Esteban Morotto a lot. Um, so, here we have the second Rick Remender book. Um, Black Science, Volume 2. Continuing the uh, more or less epic saga with parallel universes and great art by um, uh, Matteo Scalera. And, yeah, great series, great fun. It will continue. Fantastic. What good times we are living in with these uh, great comics. So, even though I have some beef sometimes with Rick Remender, but when you think about it, Deadly Class and Black Science, two of the best uh, comics written by him um, in, in my lists here. And you can add uh, Gigantic, of course, as well. So, he's really a good writer. Uh, in coming up with a great premises, I think. That's his uh, yeah, greatest ability, maybe. Now to the top three. Multiple Warheads, uh, Volume 2. With these, uh, this organ uh, dealer, Sexy Car, and her werewolf friend, uh, done in a manga-ish, uh, incredibly dense packaged uh, way of storytelling uh, by Brandon Graham. Um, some pages are just filled to the brim with uh, funny and, and interesting ideas. And this is a lot of entertainment for your buck. Uh, and yeah. And of course, you can see here um, that he has some similarities with uh, Feral Dalrymple. This is in fact and actually a drawing by Feral Dalrymple, but yeah, I love Feral Dalrymple a lot, so... Um, but he was in my comic book uh, 
top 10 with his um, series um, Proxima Centauri, so he can't be here. Number two, craziness in volume two uh, of Space Riders, published by Black Mask, uh, about this gang of space pirates, uh, or yeah, whatever, <laughs> and gorillas in space uh, with their um, spaceship in skull form, and colors, and more colors, and even more colors, and you get drugged just by looking at the stuff here. And yeah, this is just amazing, crazy and great, great fun. And what can I tell you? I'm, I apologize really because my number one science fiction book, you can't get it in another country than in Germany, or at least it's a German only version of the French original oeuvre, I think, uh, which collects the metal, metal hurlant, heavy metal, or in German, schwer metal um, series that were published back in the day in that uh, magazine series. So just the cover here, which is totally over the top, I have to admit, but in this case, really, it, it fits the inside. Can't be uh, over the top enough, in my opinion, for this kind of book here. Uh, with short stories from Möbius, um, yeah, for the most part, uh, short stories and, yes, um, um, forward but then the real good thing here happens short stories and short stories and short stories uh, for the most part science fiction stories um, therefore it's included in this series of course some uh, with a bit of satirical look onto the yeah, French uh, society or European society of that time. And we have Arzak here and we have the airtight garage in it, uh, done in a really decent format. So I can, I have my difficulties here to hold this book here uh, into the camera. Um, yeah, airtight garage, but not just, just that. Uh, other Previously, for me at least, unseen comics. A lot of the stuff I have, um, of course, in the uh, old Schwermetall, Metal Hurlant, uh, Heavy Metal uh, magazines. But I uh, haven't all of them, so there's a lot of it here that I haven't uh, read before. So, uh, fantastic book. Yeah, sorry. Um, but maybe if you can uh, speak French um, or read French. Um, there was a book published in French by Humanoids um, in 2010. Um, and I think, no, that's not the, wait, 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 yeah, here, that that has to be the title of the French uh, version, but I don't know anything about it. And if this really uh, has uh, this much of a page count, um, yeah. Anyhow, so um, yeah, that's that wrap, wraps up my uh, musings and ponderings and ratings of uh, 2018. Um, and I hope we have a 2019 that is filled with uh, similar amazing comics. Oh, okay. Anyhow, thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.